Hey there, Angie M. I am whew, just uh, wanted to do my, my EO video here. And these are some supplements and some oils that I use in the daily. This sits on my counter next to my stove. So we are going to sort out the stuff that I take daily and I will show it to you, talk a little bit about it. These last two are kiddo stuff, which we will talk about as well. I am just going to push this back because something I also wanna do is go through what is on here. So first and foremost is the doTERRA Lifelong Vitality, which is these guys, the Alpha CRS, the VMZ Microplex, and Z Omega. So basically what we've got is Cellular Vitality, food nutrient complex and another food nutrient complex. So these are your omegas, which are awesome. And then I was just looking to see if there is more information actually on the bottles. So microplex VMZ, I'm gonna just, as I forgot to grab something. So generally when you look at these three, what you're looking at is supporting general wellness, antioxidant and DNA protection, energy metabolism, bone health, immune function, stress management, cardiovascular health, healthy hair, skin and nails, eye, brain and nervous system support, liver function and digestive health, lung and respiratory health, these are gentle on the stomach and they do not contain genetically modified materials. They are also dairy free. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration and this product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease as always. This is about daily, supporting our body on the daily. And what that means is what we are trying to do is be healthy, live healthier on the daily. And what we know from years and years and years and years of research on vitamins and the big vitamin packs is doTERRA is able to leverage that information in those studies to work on formulating supplements that contain what our body needs and contains them in the, in the right ratio so that we're not getting too much or too little of something. When I was pregnant and nursing, Alpha CRS had to more or less go out for me. For some reason, there's something in this that just exacerbated tiredness in my system. Now, so daily, you take four of each of these. Now, this is going to seem like a lot, but we're just going to go through and just, and just do this. I'm going to need a little more here. Four. All right, and usually I would just take these at once. But I also take these on the daily. So the bone nutrient complex is just that, it's considered the lifetime complex. You've got vitamin C, some vitamin D, biotin, sorry, as you can't see it because it's out of frame. Some, some calcium, magnesium, zinc, copper, manganese, and boron. Now, I really, really like this because again, it is supporting bone health. I did take this during pregnancy as well. My doctor did sign off on it, nothing harmful in that. So I was good there. <laughs> I also take these daily and I just take one a day. So these, this lasts me for about two months. This is the deep blue polyphenol complex. This was a game changer in my life. And the reason it was such a game changer really is, is because it helps support joint health. I was in a pretty bad car accident about 10 years ago now and have some long lasting issues with my knees. I had seen a specialist, been through all of it. It's not something that's going to go away. It's not something I'm going to be able to to get better with, like literally, I just, I had to learn to deal with the stiffness, the tenderness, the occasional pain and all that other good stuff and swelling and things like that. Deep blue as well as 
other essential oils really help me to support my body and have helped me get back quality of life. So deep blue is something that I absolutely love. And as I said, I take one of those a day. All right. My Toto Max, which is the energy and stamina complex. This is not caffeinated. So this is not caffeine. This is cellular energy. This is something different than, you know, drinking my, my coffee or my pop and going there. So all kinds of stuff that I pr I'm not gonna butcher in pronouncing. All right, so what it says, it's a proprietary formula of metabolic cofactors and standardized plant, uh, la, plant extracts for mitochondrial energy. It supports healthy mitochondrial function and aerobic metabolism without the use of harmful stimulants. So in short, in short, uh, easier to understand terms because I don't understand some of them, them, them there are big words. We've got Mito2 Max as a healthy long-term alternative to caffeinated drink, drinks and supplements for energy and vitality. So yeah, I take one of those a day. If I'm traveling, I will take two. I also like the adaptive calming blend. I take one a day and it's just what it says. It's for emotional, emotional wellness. And then one of my favorites and one of my go-tos is the doTERRA on guard protective blend soft gel so i take one a day unless i'm traveling then i will take two or more a day particularly on days when i'm on a plane which you know probably won't be happening for any kind of period all right so it's the proprietary blend of black pep of on guard black pepper oregano and melissa for additional immune support i really really love this for immune support and i just again like i said it's, it's a daily thing if i'm not feeling well i will take a little bit more because realistically all i'm trying to do is support my immune system so that it functions the way it needs to then i i have veggie caps is the other big bottle you saw but we don't need to talk about those and then i have the a to z chewables so this has got a natural watermelon flavor my daughter takes these and my husband takes these. All right, four years and older, two daily. She's under four. My husband, when he takes these, only takes one a day, two. But we'll just, so this is all the goodness. All the goodness that is in here. So it's got a cognitive blend, a superfood blend, and the Alpha CRS blend as well in there. So this is an awesome good one. And then, ooh, 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 I keep dropping things. So IQ Mega is the omega-3 supplement for kiddos. It does smell a little bit like fish oil. My daughter doesn't care. She, she loves this. She thinks it's fabulous that she gets to take her vitamins like mommy. And everything is dusty because of where it sits. <laughs> On, on my uh, counter. I'm willing to bet that it's not dust and it's garlic powder. Come on, who doesn't love a little garlic powder? So this is what it this is what it looks like. I don't really pay attention to calories because it, yeah, it's not a thing. It, it's really not a thing. So fish oil, cod, pollock, and haddock, DHA and EPA. So all the good stuff for her. My husband doesn't use that. And then just sitting here, I'll talk about a rollerball. I do have the digest then sitting here. And something that we are going to be doing is checking expiration dates on things and getting things off of here that might be expired. There could be stuff sitting on here that I just don't use, but this guy's good. So that's, that is all right by me. I also do take DDR Prime and I do take these in the veggie caps when I take this for cellular health and wellness. And that, that I know is, is good, so that will stay. All right, so I've got some time. I'm just gonna move along. Time is good. This is a fresher ginger. It is, it is good. It's always good to go through your stuff. I know this one's good because this is newer. This is celery seed. I absolutely love a little bit of celery seed. It smells like a Chicago dog. So yeah, this, this, this is legit, this is a thing. I really love that. No, I'm not talking about all the stuff it's good for. I should probably highlight the things I like. Celery seed I like in a veggie cap. 
as well time I like in cooking. I realize that this is not, you can't, you can't see this because I moved it as I point at things. Ginger, when I was pregnant, three drops of this in a veggie cap. If I was feeling some occasional stomach discomfort was fabulous. I absolutely loved it. Um, cinnamon bark, good date. I love this diffused. I love it in a veggie cap. Absolutely a beautiful thing. All right, so black pepper, Ooh, that is still good. And that is almost gone. I use this in cooking. You can also use it if you dip just the end of a toothpick on it and have the toothpick in your mouth, it can help be used to, I don't wanna say suppress cravings, but it, it helps with cravings management. Suppress is the, is the wrong word, but it will help with that. Basil, oh my God, I love basil. I love basil in my tea. I love basil cooking. Basil is good for the digestive system. Can't tell if that's a four. Or, I can't tell if that's a four or a one. Um, hmm. That's a four. It's a four. It's not the right shape for a one, and it's a newer bottle and it's half used. I love basil. Basil is super uplifting and energizing to me. It is just incredibly beautiful. Cilantro. I cilantro is awesome in cooking. Good date. So I will keep that. Anytime I make anything, you know, salsas or guacamole type stuff, cilantro goes in it. Coriander, also from the same plant as cilantro, but different part. Coriander is fabulous in cooking. I like it in veggie caps and it is good stuff. All right, good date. Kumquat, I don't really use. I don't really use. I'm gonna set this one aside because I don't use it and I don't wanna keep it on here taking up space. Turmeric, I love turmeric. I love it for digestion. It's got a good date. I love it in cooking. I love it in veggie caps. It is just a beautiful essential oil. Then I've got bergamot. Bergamot, so if you've got a tea and you wanna make it Earl Grey or Earl Grey-esque, because I, depending on what tea you have, you might be missing other things, I put a little bergamot or bergamot, depending on where you're from and how you wanna say it in there, and that has a good date as well. All right, star anise. I love star anise. Good for in cooking, super punchful, like, like the, like the cinnamon, cinnamon, it, ooh, that's what I need to put. Cinnamon is, we'll deal with those in a second. <laughs> cinnamon is a hot oil, which means it will feel like it is burning on your skin. You do not want to apply that without dilution. This has also got a good date. I don't use star anise a lot, but when I need it, I like it in the essential oil form. All right, cardamom. This is another tea favorite for me. So let's take a look, good date. I love this in tea, cardamom is fantastic for the respiratory system. So when you are taking this in your tea, you want to make sure that, you know, it's just a drop or put a little bit on a toothpick and swirl it in the liquid and it will be a good day. Pretty awesome, again, great respiratory system support. Also calming for occasional stomach irritation. Love cardamom. I gotta put a label on that one. Do we talk about this one? Ooh, oregano. All right, I don't necessarily like smelling like a pizza or burping like I've eaten pizza without eating pizza, but I love oregano. What is the date on this? All right, we've got a good date. What is fabulous about oregano? Oregano has immune support. There are all kinds of, if I pull up, my Modern Essentials book, which is packed away, there are all kinds of other benefits with oregano. Oregano is a heavy hitter in the oil world. Also, if if I'm feeling a little off and I use On Guard, I might also put oregano in a veggie cap. And again, it just, I, I cannot, like it, it's an off-putting oil. It is also a hot oil. This one, will feel like acid on your skin. You really want to dilute the daylights out of it or just not apply it topically. Be really careful with it. But in a veggie cap and in the digestive system, it's just, it, I, I love it, I love it. Oregano is an unsung hero of the essential oil world. It really, really is. So yeah, 
oregano I would say is definitely a staple and like an emergency kit of stuff. All right. Caraway. Who doesn't love good caraway seed? Date on this is good. I enjoy caraway. I enjoy how it smells. I enjoy caraway seeds. I enjoy caraway rye bread. And I enjoy this guy in cooking. Absolutely fantabulous. Yes, I said fantabulous. No, that was not a mistake. All right. The date on this green mandarin is good. I do not use this. I'm going to set this guy aside. It's a citrus oil. I, I just, it's not something I really use in cooking. Same thing with this. Ooh, sorry. Same thing with this yellow mandarin. Good date, just not something I use. All right, pink pepper, good date. I like pink pepper along with black pepper. Pink pepper has, I'm just gonna sniff this really quick. It doesn't come with these caps, I put these on here. Pink pepper is slightly sweeter than black pepper. It has a, it has a tang to it, is a good way to say it. But I really like that as well. I don't know if I have a label for that one. Then I've got red mandarin. Again, I don't, I don't use this. I'm gonna set it aside. Maybe I'll use it for diffusing. And then the last but not least that I have on here is the kasha. So this reminds me of cinnamon as well. I do not remember off the top of my head if it's a hot oil. Treat it like such until you know otherwise. It's also got a good date. I really don't use a whole lot about a whole lot of this. Sometimes it can be used in cooking, but I just, I haven't, it's, it's not a thing I've really used. So these are the, these are the goodnesses that stay out. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Just put my stuff back on here really quick. So, I mean, this is, you see, I, I cleared up some, some nice space here. This is what I, I use. I, I use quite often, so because there'd be more often used things, I keep them right on, again, right on my counter next to my stove so that in the morning when I'm making my coffee, I remember to, to use them. What is not on here that I do take daily is a vitamin D supplement in supplement to this guy. I, my, my GP, you know, did blood work and I live in a part of the world where we can be gray for a lot of the years. So I was deficient in vitamin D. So I do take a vitamin D supplement. I also do take Zyrtec D for my allergies. I do need to see my allergist because my allergies are actually getting fairly awful. And yeah, I think also I'm saying Advil migraine stuff is missing. I do take that quite frequently if I have a migraine. So so that, that is it. And now I am going to take these guys. It looks intimidating. It's not. I take these three together at once and then I take a second handful of everything else. And I've, I've never had a problem swallowing anything. I do know that if you have issues with swallowing, you know, restriction, things like that, you, you, an option here is the A to Z chewable. The children's line, quote unquote, isn't really a children's line. It can be for adults too. So if that is a thing for you, you do have an option. There is a lot more to supplements for weight management, <laughs> for, uh, why am I gonna say this wrong? I was gonna say the dietary system, that's not what I mean, but uh, why am I blanking on this? I literally just thought of it. So prebiotics, everything for the digestive system that, that you could really imagine needing. And then, you know, probiotic and just all kinds of good stuff. I don't take all of those, so they're not here, but they, they are out there if you are interested. And I will catch you guys in the next one.